Welcome to July, everybody. We've got a really small mail day for you today to pick up a few cards um, that we decided to make small insert sets collections out of. Um, we recently opened up three boxes of March of the Machine boosters, draft boxes on the channel, and we sold, got rid of the bulk cards, and um, picked out a few of our favorites. And we noticed they had these mystical archives showcase cards in the set. And so we did a little more research to figure out like, what are these all about? And as you can see, some of them, like this Yodora Grave Gardener is one of the multiverse legends. And this is a rare card. There was also a Dinah Soul Steeper multiverse legend. This is an uncommon. So we had two multiverse legend mystical archives frames in the set. And then there were also these mystical archives, which if you recall, we were collecting the Strixhaven mystical archives set on the channel. I made some videos if you wanna check out the Strixhaven playlist. Um, this was a Quintorius Lore Master. This is a rare, but it is in the March of the Machine set. So this is just a showcase frame that was inside the March of the Machine set. Same thing with uh, Zimona and Dinah. This is also a, this is a mythic rare uh, legendary creature, human dryad. Um, Quintorius is a legendary creature, elephant cleric for three colorless, a red and a white. And Zimona costs a black, green, and a blue to cast. So these two cards are part of the March of the Machine set. Um, they're not very expensive. I think these, this Dinah Soul Steeper and Eudora are less than 50 cents. Um, so maybe the Quintora is also probably a, a dollar, maybe. And then finally, uh, Zimona and Dina. This might be like $2, I think, actually, because of, it's a mythic. So that's one set, insert set that you could get inside the March of the Machines draft boosters, non-foil, of course. Then uh, there was also a Hirobi Death's Wall with a Kamigawa Neon Dynasty showcase frame. And this was from the Multiverse Legends set in March of the Machine. So this is a le another legendary creature. It's a spirit for two colorless and two black. It has flying, it's a 4-4. Whenever a creature becomes a target of a spell or ability, you destroy that creature. Um, so very Phyrexian creature spirit. That's pretty cool. So that's, uh, the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty treatment. Um, I did some research to figure out how many Mystical Archives frames there were, and I, I think there's just the four. There's the two in the regular March of the Machine set, and there's the two in the Multiverse Legends set. And then I looked and I researched how many March of the Machines slash Kamigawa Neon Dynasty frames showcase or Multiverse Legends cards there were, and I think there's only th three, two or three. So there's uh, this Hirobi Death Swall, and then I was only able to find two more, and I think they're in this package today, so we'll take a look at that. The last thing that I found in March of the Machines draft boosters was just these like overprinted, misprinted, common and uncommon cards, and I'll try to show you the difference in this close-up, if you can see, but a lot of the cards were heavily printed with like too much black ink to the point where you couldn't read the copyright date at the bottom of the card is almost like got smeared, double printed, triple printed, whatever the was on the printing plate. Um, very much like a misprint, printing error that a lot of older Magic cards have had over the years, but um, you know, not so much quality control. Then this copy is a little less faint than the first one. You can still still sort of see the copyright date, and then. The regular version, this one is totally fine. This golden scale area knot. This is what the card should look like, and this is what the card sometimes looks like, where you don't really see the serial, the copyright date on the bottom, or the set number, set card number, artist. That's really tough to see down there, and it's kind of just smeared on this side. So, if you're a misprint collector and looking for March of the Machines misprint cards. You can get them in the draft boosters, so go check those out. So last but not least 
is our mail of the day package for the day. Um, I thought this was gonna be a short video because we only had a few cards in this pack, but I got excited about the, the other cards that we were completing. All right, so thanks ABU Games for another quick order. And as I said, it's July. We've been on YouTube for almost nine months. We are approaching our goal of 365 videos. If we're just doing a pack a day, a video a day, you know, just one video per day for an entire year. We'll see how that goes. And then in three more months, we'll have 365 videos. Um, we still need probably six or 625, 615 more subscribers to hit a thousand subscribers. So if you are watching this video, and you like March of the Machine, you like magic cards, feel free to subscribe to the video and you'll get a video feed link in your notifications every morning when our video goes live and you can see what we're collecting that day. Um, there's a sticker, we like stickers. Uh, so these, yes, there are a couple cards in this order. We did pick up the Kamigawa Nian Dynasty treatment frames, showcases. There's a showcase frame and a Multiverse Legends card inside the March of the Machine set. If I'm missing any of these, let me know in the comments. Um, the only ones I was able to find were this Hirobi, which is a rare Multiverse Legend. And then there's this also this Saizan, Perverter of Truth, rare Multiverse Legend creature, Demon Spirit, for three colorless and two black. At the beginning of each players upkeep that player loses two life and draws three cards so kind of like a copper tablet but also like um a, a, you know draw two cards also holly mine so it's like a copper tablet holly mine uh in, in one card there's also this um hidetsu and kairi which is a legendary creature ogre demon dragon from the march of the machine Set. It is a rare. I kind of like. Kind of like that it's yellow because yellow and Merge of the Machine really are. They go together. So this this looks like the Merge of the Machine draft booster pack with the yellow and on it. I will do a little screenshot. We're gonna try to make a thumbnail for the video. <clears throat> so this is the third. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Showcase Frame card that I could find in the set. If I'm missing any, again, just let me know in the comments, and I'll go try to pick those up. They're very inexpensive, you know, nothing more than a dollar, but they're kind of fun to collect. Uh, if you remembered, we have all of our Strixhaven Mystical Archives non-foil. We had that set complete. So we'll probably, these are extras, but we probably will sleeve these up and keep them in the box with our Strixhaven Mystical Archives cards. And then the last two cards we got uh, another copy of Days to go in our Matthew Wilson deck. So now we completed our playset of Nemesis Days cards. And last but not least, the last card in the deck is an Alpha mountain so we'll put this in our alpha 40 deck we did reach our goal of 300 ungraded alphas so we just kind of just kind of going way past that stop sign just continue to pick up cards as the prices fall this one's in played condition but it's in pretty good shape surface and it looks pretty clean on both sides it has a little alpha flip so you can tell somebody played this without sleeves in 1993-94 uh, but uh, we'll put it in our Alpha 40 deck. We gotta cast some more red spells next month. And we need some mana, red producing mana to do that. So we're gonna throw this mountain in there as well and make that happen. So appreciate everybody for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like uh, Strixhaven frames, if you like Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, if you liked March of the Machines. Um, and then stay tuned. We did pick up a box of Lord of the Rings collectors, so we're gonna try to chase some serialized cards in the next few videos. 
So stay tuned, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.